Hello everyone, welcome back to Vedo Mentos YouTube channel and we are watching learning bootstrap series. In this video, we're gonna see about nesting columns. So nesting columns is nothing but adding one or two columns within an already existing column or another column where we need two columns to be within the space or block of an already existing column in our website. So for example, in this bootstrap documentation, we can see that the nesting column has multiple columns where the two columns in the second level is nested within a primary that is the parent column of column MD9. So the parent column size is nine column spaces. But in the children, that is the level two column, we are having 12 column spaces that is the column MD6 and column MD6 both together forms 12 column spaces. How is that possible? Well. In the parent column MD9, when it gets to the children column, the parent column will be again divided into 12 column spaces. So every time you handle columns, this column will be divided into 12 column spaces when you get to the next element in that column. So when we read this documentation from getbootstrap.com, to nest your content with the default grid, add a new row class and set of column MD classes columns within an existing column MD classes column nested rows should include a set of columns that add up to 12 or less so again this means that you can add columns within a column which adds up to 12 column spaces or less not more than that of course because this parent column will again be divided into 12 column spaces and you cannot fill more than that you have to have contents within that 12 column spaces okay let's get on to some of the examples that we're going to do with our own website so I'm going to use my blog post uh, web page where we have already seen that how to add two columns and pull and push them to order them in this blog post content column I'm going to add an image and also some information about the blog so this has to be done by nesting columns within the main column so let's add a column in first place and I'm going to add an image so keep note of it I'm not adding any column class to this as of yet I'm going to use an image from the last video and I'm going to provide a class to it which is image responsive we have already seen the usage of this this adds responsive behavior to your image so when I refresh it the entire area is covered with this particular image so this image will cover the 12 column spaces of this blog post that is the actual 9 column or 8 column spaces that we have mentioned but within this this is going to cover the 12 column spaces but I don't want that so let's say I want this image to fill only the 9 column spaces of this column so in order to do that I am going to add a column to this particular division that is column MD9 and now I'll be having the image covering up only to the 9 column spaces of this 8 column spaced parent column so now I have three column spaces extra that is where my content has been filled in so in order to use this area I'm going to use uh, some of the informations about this block so I'm going to copy paste it I'm just going to, go to change it to three so that this two adds up to form 12 column spaces so I'm going to add some informations like 300 views about this blog it just come random values so don't worry about it and 200 likes sorry that's way too much okay now when I refresh it I can see this but again I want these things to go down I don't want this textual content to come up so for that all I have to do is that create a row for only these two columns that we have already seen if we want only a particular column or particular content to be on a particular row all we have to do is define a row so I have added the row 
and that's it the images and some information about this blog post is there and then the text comes down so this is actually responsive enough so when I shrink this website you can see that the image takes up uh, we can see that the image is responsive and it reduced its size based on the screen size so it's good now I have some information about this blog post you can add some informations and also some links for example Facebook like link Twitter follow link and Facebook share icon or widget something like that and then we have the title of the blog post and then the content of the blog post and then we have the sidebar with links which has to be at the bottom as usual so you can also add multiple columns within this area where we can have images to be there at the center of each area so I have also informed you how to center a particular column in your website so this is what this video covers about we have seen how to nest columns within columns so thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe and share this video and if you have any doubts suggestions feedbacks or issues please use the comment section of this video or you can use our Facebook page or Twitter handle to ask some questions thank you